Let me all over my oh, what is up guys in this video we're showing you how you can edit a fortnite montage uh in davinci resolve without any plugins involved so uh this is like the fifth time i do this tutorial but i feel like you guys need obviously like an update maybe like every month every two weeks you know just to see like how like the new trends are going for no plugins so right here i have my clip and the song uh long time by lil tj uh like one of the best artists in my opinion and yeah this is the clip so yeah, it's pretty clean in my opinion, and uh, yeah, that's why I'm using it. So, what you're going to do first is click on the clip once your song is obviously lined up with the clip. Unlink the clips by right-clicking on the video and clicking link clips. Now, it, they should be two different, uh, separate things now. And now, uh, click the video again, and right-click again, and click retime controls. And you should see like this little, like, a bunch of like arrows, right arrows. Like just pointing to the right and like a hundred percent speed right here what you're gonna want to do now is go on the kill and right click or not right click just click normally on this little triangle right here next to 100 percent and add speed point now go to the frame where the gun is pulled out so right here uh as you can see right here this is the frame where the gun uh, is shown right here uh, now what you're going to do is add another speed point by just clicking add speed point and go in between both of them and add another speed point. Change the first speed to 50, uh, set in second speed to 400. So basically it should be 50 and then speed up. So let me just drag this away like that. And now what you're gonna wanna do is in the middle speed point, which should be the start of 400, go a couple for, or just drag the top of that speed point to the right. So just drag it until it says 40 on the left side right here, so it says 40 right here, and now just drag the 400 back so the last speed point lines up with the kill. Uh, it, this is kind of complicated to be honest, so you guys should probably watch this back a couple times to fully understand how to do this. And now that you're on the speed point, go around like two frames in front, one, two, and drag the speed point so it lines up with the playback head. And now it should look, should look like that, and it looks pretty clean in my opinion. And now change the kill speed on the last speed to 50% and now zoom out a bit and drag the top part of it, the top part, make sure that you can see two arrows pointing the opposite direction, not this part, this part up here, and drag it to the right until it says like 40 or 39. So right there should be good and I'm just going to slow it down or trim it down. So it should look like this. And it looks pretty clean. And now the slow-mo does seem a little choppy so what I like to do most of the time is uh, right here on the right hand side where it says transform go to the bottom and click retime and scaling uh, retime process right here uh, click project setting and click optical flow so it should it should make the slow mo smoother yeah in my opinion it looks really clean especially if you're a no plugins editor uh, and now uh, what you want to do is get uh, an adjustment clip like this, go into the effects tab right here and drag an adjustment clip and just put it into the project. And now go uh, to the kill part and uh, now go uh, 40 frames back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now, now trim the adjustment clip so it lines up to the 40th frame behind. And now uh, cut it on the kill. Uh, get like this cutting tool right here and cut it in the middle. And now make sure to uh, get the right part of the adjustment clip and trim it so it's as long as the clip. And now I'm just gonna trim down the kill a bit because there's way too much dead time in my opinion. So I'm just gonna go a bit short and trim it down just like that. And just like that, it looks really nice. And now uh, go into the fusion tab. Make sure you are on the first adjustment clip right here. Uh, go into the fusion tab. And now uh, go into uh, where I put the effects. So put them in right here, no plugins five. And I'm gonna do the no plugins build up. This is a really clean build up. It comes with a uh, uh, brightness, contrast, and vignette. It's, it's kind of like a dark build up. Looks really nice in my opinion, super clean. And now go back into the edit tab. And as you can see, that should be the buildup. And now fade in the adjustment clip just like this. So there should be two rectangles on the adjustment clip, one on the top right and one on the top left. 
dragging the top left, drag it all the way to the right. So it should look like this. It's just fade in the build up and fade back out. Or just go into the kill. I'm just gonna right click and click render cache color output. So basically it renders out in place. All right guys, so now for the impact, what you're gonna wanna do is go into the fusion tab and uh, go into your file explorer wherever you like put my impact uh, and drag in the no plugins impact. Make sure that in the edit tab you have selected uh, the like the impact part of or like the kill part of the adjustment clip. That will be super important. And now that you've added my preset, just connect them just like this. And yeah, it should already be keyframed. So you can see it looks pretty nice. It's like a glow with the blur and the flicker. And it looks like this. And yeah, in my opinion, really clean. I'm gonna right click again and click render cache color output. So it basically renders in place. And I'm just gonna wait for it to render. And it should almost be done. And uh, yeah, looks super nice in my opinion. Uh, and now what you're gonna wanna do is drag another adjustment clip into the project and just put it over the impact. And don't put it over the build up because that will mess it up. And right here, that since it's only over the impact, make sure that it's like basically short as the impact. It, it'll basically look like um, the exact same as the impact in the edit tab. It's just that it's a layer above it. Go into the fusion tab and drag in orange RGB dot settings, and it comes with the emboss and a color corrector, and it should look like this. And yeah, now go back into the edit tab, and uh, right here we're not done yet. Go and to transform and go to the bottom where it says composite on composite mode make it overlay right here and it should add a nice rgb on it it's not too noticeable but it adds like a bit of like better effect on it in my opinion and now what you're going to want to do is fade it out so basically on the triangle right here on the top right just uh, basically pull it all the way to the left so it should slowly fade out uh, and now for the color correction, what you're going to want to do is drag an adjustment clip again and make sure that this adjustment clip is over top of everything so it's on like the third layer or the fourth layer and uh, now go back into the fusion tab and drag in the no plugin CC comes with a sharpen and a brightness uh, corrector something like that or contrast and it should make it like it should make it a bit nicer you can take away the sharpen if you want uh, this is just personal opinion and now go back into the edit tab and this should make your DaVinci Resolve quite laggy so uh, just make sure it renders out. I'm just going to click uh, render cache color output and uh, yeah we're basically done here. What you're going to want to do now is this is like the most optional part of the video. Sometimes the clip has really shitty audio so what you're going to want to do is sometimes delete the clip audio and drag in like just a sound effect that you have. So I'm just gonna drag in Spaz uh, headshot and I'm gonna find where basically the pump shot starts in the effect. So I'm gonna, uh, right here uh, is where it starts. As you can see, there's a huge jump in the pump audio. And now you're gonna just click uh, this bookmark right here. It's like a marker. And I'll just drag it so it lines up with the, with the kill and with the song. And uh, yeah, that should wrap it up for this tutorial. If you guys did enjoy make sure to obviously drop a like subscribe you know do all that good stuff and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and subscribe peace